Uh, the Honourable Member for Markham Unionville had four minutes left before I interrupted before question period. So the Honourable uh, Member for Markham Unionville, debate. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <coughs> Countless medical professionals have testified that the brain continues to develop until the age of 25. According to the Canadian Medical Association, increased use of marijuana before the age of 25 increases one's risk of developing mental disorder such as psychophrenia, depression, and anxiety by up to 30 percent compared to those who have not used marijuana under the age of 25. The government cannot go through with this. Is this what we want for our children? I have said this before, but I have to say this again. This is the most certainly not what I want for my children. This is not what I want for my constituents, and this is not what I want for Canadians. For these reasons, the Canadian Medical Association and various other medical professions, professionals recommended increase, increasing the age, age which is a person can consume marijuana to 21 at the very least. As it said, the government will fa fail our children if they go through with this legislation. The government claims this legislation will control the drugs, but in reality, it will allow the drug to become out of control. The vast majority of witnesses at Health Committee spoke strongly against homegrown in their, in their testimony, including most medical groups and the police forces that appeared, along homegrown will most certainly not regulate, not regulate the industry. Further, police have said before the health committee that because they cannot see inside home, they will be unable to enforce a plant for household quota. Even more more concerning is that the large network of legal homegrown could easily become an organized crime network, and it could happen next door to you or me, Madam Speaker. Canadian families expect safe and healthy communities in which to raise their children. We are parliamentarian. We are representative of our constituents, and we need to ensure that all voices are heard. People are concerned about this drug. We, as an elected official, can and should provide guidance on this drug. To reflect the view of all Canadians, when it comes to health and safety, Canadians deserve the best. This legislation is not what is the best for Canadians. Now, there are only 218 days to go until the arbitrary date of July 1st, 2018. Let me be clear. <clears throat> Let us not rush through this legislation. We need to do what is right for Canadians. The provinces, the municipalities, and the police forces are not ready to implement this legislation. I cannot support, support Bill C-45. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Questions and comments? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, the Government House Leader. Mr. Madam Speaker, you know, consistently the Conservatives, when they stand up, talk about a problem if the bill actually passes. What they fail to recognize is that the problem is there today. We have a serious problem with uh, cannabis and marijuana consumption uh, in our youth. It is recognized as uh, one of the highest in the world in terms of usage. Um, I have in my own constituency, as it applies to all constituencies, uh, criminal elements that go into our schools to sell uh, marijuana to our children, 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds. We finally have a government that's taken a proactive approach at dealing uh, with the uh, issue. We have a government that made a commitment in the last election to do exactly what it is that it's, uh, that it's doing uh, today. It's a part of the election platform. We're stepping forward and trying to resolve some very complicated issues. And my question to the member across the way is, would he, would he not, or would the Conservatives not recognize that the status quo is just not worked? 
the numbers and the what's happening to our young people in our schools today. I do have to allow for other questions. Uh, the Honourable Member for Markham Unionville. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes, there is a problem. There is a huge problem. What, Madam Speaker, they are going to make it worse. This is the main concern. The, the law enforcement, the police officers, the medical, medical uh, association, everyone spoke against it. For example, the marijuana available in their home, when they're allowing the plants to grow in their homes, and every street corner is available, you go to shop a drug mart is available. So, so this thing, making it worse, uh, the overall situation, yes, there is a problem, but you're making it worse down the road. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, questions and comments? The Honourable Member for North, Land, North Island Power, Power River. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for his speech. Uh, recently, uh, earlier this week, I had the Federation of Canadian Municipalities come and sit down and have a chat with me, and one of their major concerns was around the pace of uh, the legalization of marijuana and how much communities themselves have a lot of work to do to prepare. Um, so I'm just wondering if the member could share with this House a little bit about how he shares those concerns and how this government uh, needs to support communities in this process. Uh, the Honourable Member for Markham Unionville. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you for the Honourable, Mem Honourable Member's question. Yes, indeed, there is a problem. There are many, many problems. Uh, I was speaking to the, uh, uh, the, our local police chief. He, is, he was wondering when we going to train our police officers, and it costs $10,000 to train one police officer. Where the money is going to come from? What happened when the kids go to the schools, stone, eating the wrong brownies from the kitchen? Uh, all those questions, all those concerns, they are not taken. Uh, the, the whole process is not well thought through by this Liberal government. And there is no rush. Please take your time. And uh, the arbitrary July 1st, 2018 is simply uh, unacceptable to us and uh, unacceptable to all Canadians. Thank you very much. Questions and comments? Questions.